Welcome back, everybody, to Farming Simulator 22. I'm an old guy gaming, and uh, we are going to start this episode with an end of the month update for August. As predicted, uh, August was pretty slow. Not a whole lot happened. Uh, I did do a few cultivating and a few fertilizing contracts, and I had to purchase and replenish the seed in all of the greenhouses. And I had to do another... Yeah, I think we had to do another cow feeding, too. Um, so let's take a look at the ledger and then we're going to move into September and something really cool is going to happen in September, which we'll talk about here in a moment. Uh, let's see. So for August, I uh, did a little bit of flattening over by the hay barns on that, uh, next to the road where there's kind of like a little ridge. Uh, this is repairs for vehicles, proper maintenance, 552 mysterious production costs, uh, water costs for the cattle barn. We made a total of $16,641 on contracts, uh, gross that, uh, that was, uh, workers that I hired. This is our pallet moving worker. And so we ended up with, um, well, wait a minute. Where's my seed purchase? Um, does that not show up here? Cause we made a total, uh, or we netted 11,000, but I'm I, I'm I'm down to 27 because I had to buy actually I had to buy a little bit of fertilizer too. Why doesn't that show up here? That's weird. You'd think that would show up here, huh? Uh, but I don't see it. So, okay, well, whatever. Um, I did have to buy uh like a half a silos worth of seed, I think, and then I think I bought 5,000 liters of fertilizer to do the the contracts. But it's really weird that that wouldn't show up here. Um, sold seed, seed costs, fertilizer costs. Why? Well, I, I don't know. I can't explain that. All I can tell, <laughs> all I can tell you is that I, I went over here and I purchased, um, 5,000 liters. So $8,800 worth of fertilizer for the silo there. And it should still have, yeah, it still has some left over. So we'll use that on, on further contracts. Pretty much the fertilizer that's in here now is only going to be for contracts moving forward uh, and maybe, you know, for new fields and stuff like that because, um, you know, we're 100% on manure now with uh, in the, uh, whatchamacallit, greenhouses. Yes, greenhouses. And then um, I also purchased, I think, about 20,000 liters of seed. Yeah, I think I, I hit this twice, so 20,000 liters of seed. All right, anyway, that is it for August. Uh, there's nothing in the sales. There's a couple of, um, like, a forager, uh, forage harvester and a blower thingy for forage stuff we don't need. Um, so we're done with August. Let's sleep and head into September. Oh, I did also uh, deliver a load of milk to the dairy, too. Uh, that's a rainy September 1st day. Uh, okay, so here is what's going to happen today. Uh, first of all, let's look at the sales. There's an I Iseki. Is that how you pronounce that tractor? Little tractor, 95 horsepower. Don't need it. Uh, that's a planter, but yeah, we don't need that either. And this is a, I guess a tank trailer or something. Only holds 37.50 liters. Yeah, not interested at in that stuff at all. We don't need a salt spreader. And that's that same forage harvester that was in there last month. Okay, so we don't need to worry about that. Let's take a look at our cows here and chickens. Oh, I forgot to move the chicken eggs into the warehouse. We need to get that done. And, of course, we're going to have to feed these guys again here fairly soon. Now, if we look at the dairy, it should have plenty of milk. Yes, it does. Okay, cool. So, um, wow, this rain sucks because we have to cut our, our own hay this month. Let's take a look at the weather forecast. And it looks like it's, oh, right here. It's going to stop around 1 p.m. Okay. Um, so here's the plan for, for this episode. I'm going to move the eggs, um, over here into, man, the wind's going at it and everything. Yeah, look at that. 
Okay, we got four full pallets of eggs. So I'm going to move those over to the warehouse. I'm going to then probably just fast forward the time until 1 p.m. and then harvest my hay and get that all sorted. I'm going to then sleep until September 3rd. And then when September 3rd rolls around, we are going to be able to sell our butter and cheese. Yes, indeed. So if we look at uh, butter and cheese, you can see that uh, Oh, this has changed. I looked at this yesterday, yesterday in real life, and September was the best month and it has been all along, and now it's December. What the heck, man? <laughs> um, all right. Well, I guess we're not going to sell our butter and cheese this month. We might as well let it continue to build up and hit it in December instead. Crap. I, was, I thought we were going to get a nice big sale of butter and cheese. But the good news is we, let, we can let it build up a little more and get even more money for it in December. <coughs> that is really why. I, I don't know what the, I don't know what the um, algorithm, I guess is of this because I've been, I've looked at that several times throughout the year and it's always been September as the best month. And so, you know, I just kind of had it in my mind that we would sell butter and cheese in September, but now it's December. So, uh, I hope that it stays December or no, actually it's January for cheese. It's January for both of them actually. Okay. Well, and we're going to be selling everything else in January too. So I might, we might as well do the butter and cheese at the same time. Right. Okay. Well, crap. <laughs> Well, that no, nah, I shouldn't say crap. That's not a bad thing. It it means we're just going to get even more money. Um, we just have to wait a little bit longer, so that's fine. Okay, well, then, that being the case, I'm going to move the eggs over to uh, the warehouse and then wait until the rain goes away. Then I'm going to cut my own hay and get that all sorted. And I'll bring you guys back at the end of September with an up end-of-the-month update. Oh, we didn't look at contracts, so let's look at those real quick. Um, okay, so we'll take any cultivating, pretty much, and any fertilizing contracts that come up. These harvesting contracts are not worth my time. But fertilizing, like I said, and cultivating we will do. Because we got the we got the setup for it. It's easy money. Dude, look at that. Nine thousand dollar fertilizer. That's a good one. Cultivating there. And I think that's it for the month. So, okay, there's a nice little chunk of change we can make here uh, in September as well. So I will also work on those. So, yeah, guys, the plan right now is just to bring you back at the end of September with an update. And then uh, we'll probably move into October from there. So I will see you at the end of the month. All right, guys, I'm back. It is uh, September 3rd, and we are finished with the month. Uh, we do have two things I want to do, though. First, uh, we need to go, go get some grain for the chickens, and we need to uh, we need to pick up the eggs, and we needed to do... Oh, and milk. Yeah, do the milk. Okay. Uh, so let's get those three things done, then we'll take a look at the ledger. Uh, we might have a little bit of water in here. Actually, no, we don't. Okay, I must have emptied it out. Cool. So yeah, we'll do the milk first, and then we'll have to run over to the train station... Get some chicken feed and then put the eggs away. Uh, so I, I made a mistake, by the way, just FYI. I forgot to do the second fertilizing on the new, on field 50 over here. I didn't realize it until the crop was is actually ready to harvest. So we got a little less yield than we otherwise would have. But even so, uh, we still got one two three four five six seven stacks one two three four five yeah seven stacks one of the stacks is not quite full um so still a pretty pretty good haul overall It'll, it, it just would have been better of course if i would have remembered to fertilize that field the second time but that's only an issue for the very first time out and then it every time after that as long as you roll which i always do um you know then you're always going to get the second application of fertilizer uh, also, I fed the cows, and I just, I just decided to do that one off camera because we've done it enough times now. Right, so we got that done, and um, yeah, so let's get uh, our milk dropped off. 
I don't know if I told you guys this or not, uh, but I do have the follow me mod installed. And um, I'm just trying to, I, I used it just to have the, uh, the worker follow me off the field just to try it out. Um, but the thing is, is you can't really effectively use it if you're going to do round silage bales. And because the baler has to stop, right, um, to eject the bale. So unless, I mean, yeah, I don't know. There is one possible thing we could try. I could get the... I could get the fast baler. It's a mod. I'd have to install it, which I could do, and rent it. Uh, you know, just lease it, lease it, so we're not putting out a bunch of money for something that might not work. And, um, you know, so use that, and then have a worker follow me and bail with the fast baler. Now, the, bat, the downside to the fast baler is that it only does the smallest bales. And so what that means then is we're speeding up the bailing process, but we're making the loading process, which has to happen, by the way, three times. Why three times, you ask? Because we have to pick them up off the field and then drop them off over by the barns to ferment. Then we have to pick them back up from there and put them in the barns. And then we have to pull them back out of the barns and take them to market. So yeah, three times. So with smaller bales, um, there's going to be more of them, and that means we're going to have to to do that even more frequently. So I just don't know if it's if it's really worth it, you know, it speed up the bailing but make the other part, you know, more laborious. But what I was thinking is we could maybe try instead of using the normal bale pickup, we could make whoops, we could maybe try the the auto loader thing uh, with a flatbed and then I would just you know pay imaginary workers to help me do that um, but that's only gonna be a good idea if we can get more than 24 bales on the flatbed and I don't know how many of the small bales you can fit on the flatbed so you know there's actually a way we could test that without spending any money at all. Um, what am I doing here? Let's get, let's, yeah, you know what? We Maybe we could test that. Oops. Yeah, I got an idea, okay, I have an idea about how what we might be able to do to test that. Uh, you know, if, if I can't put more than 24 bales on the flatbed doing it that way, there's no point because that's how much you can get on the, the normal loader. And then, then our advantage to doing that pretty much goes away. Um, it, it, we can load them a little and unload them a little faster, I suppose, but is that really going to make that much difference in the long run? You know what I mean? So, But if we can get more than 24 of the smallest bales on the flatbed, and then, then it could potentially be worth it. So we'll just have to test that out. Anyway, okay, let's go... Let's grab, uh, jump in here, and we've got to go get our trailer. Actually, no, I'm going to use a tractor. And go get some grain. Oh, man, I hate it when that happens. <laughs> I go up to here to get in, and it puts me in that one, so I have to come over to this side. It's just really weird. You know, you'd think, because I'm looking right at that tractor and standing in front of it, it would know, oh, he wants to go in there. But no. Uh, Alright, let's just go get the Brantner. It's the easier one to work with. Let's see, how much do, do the chickens have? They have 24, about 2,400 liters. That means we want to get 60, yeah, about 6,500-ish. I don't really want to get more because then we have extra that we have to deal with. We'll, we'll try and cut it off at about 6,000, let's just say. Give ourselves a little bit of a margin. Thing is, is it's really hard to cut it off because it comes out so fast, but we'll see. Uh, but yeah, I've got a, I got a, I got a, an idea that it just came to me as I was talking to you guys about this, of how we might be able to test that. We'll have to uh, use the admin tool and basically just spawn the bales in to test it, and then I'll just, I, I'll delete the bales when we're done so I'm not like, you know, giving myself free bales, but at least that'll let us know 
um, if you know if we can get more than 24 of the small bales on our big flatbed. Because again, if we can't, I just don't see the point in doing it. So we'll give that a shot and see what happens. But for now, we need to get 6,500 liters of barley for the chickens. Is that a collectible down there? No, I guess not. What about over here? Nope, okay. I just, there was just a whole bunch of different colors, including that really vivid blue color of that bucket, so I wasn't sure if I was looking at a collectible or not. I think we, you know, when we did that episode where we did go get all the collectibles, we did check this train station fairly thoroughly, as I recall. Okay, so we want barley, and we want to stop it. At 6,500. Oh! Wait a minute. What just happened? <laughs> I just loaded the trailer up completely. Um, oh, maybe we can't stop it. Oh, I bet you we can't. Okay. Here, what we can do then is dump it back in. And yeah, we got the grain door. And try and stop it at 6,500. Because <laughs> otherwise I'm going to have to come all the way back here and dump it the excess back in. It's a little bit easier to use the grain door just because it's not as fast. So we can stop it. Eight. Seven. Six. There we go. Okay, that should be good. Oh my goodness. Driving up on the thingy. Okay, let's go dump this in the chicken thingy and then we'll we'll try our little test here. Look at this. The price is back up and back to September now for the butter and the cheese. I don't even think I've logged out of the game since we looked at this earlier. Yeah, it's back to September now. All right, so 973 is the best price for butter. And yeah, we can sell it to Mama Joe for Mama Joe's a fast food restaurant for 993. That's a good price. Okay. Uh, and then the cheese is 1958. And it looks like the marble restaurant has got 1991, but the price is dropping. Oh my goodness. Okay. Change of plans. We're going to we're going to take care of that first. I want to see if I can get in on that price especially at the red marble before uh you know before it drops anymore. Well, you know what though? It has been that was three in-game days ago. It was September 1st when we looked at it, so... But I don't think I've log actually logged out of the game. I've, I've paused it a couple of times and, you know, went to eat dinner and do some other stuff, but... Huh, interesting. Okay, well, I'm glad I looked at it. Again. That seems weird, though. It seems inconsistent that it fluctuates that much. But I don't know. Maybe, maybe that's just the way it works, or maybe it's there's a bug with it or something. Okay, I think the chickens should take all of this grain. We'll see though. Should have switched it back to the full gate. Yep, they took the whole thing, and that puts them at. Uh, for all intents and purposes, full. <laughs> um, okay, well, yeah, we grabbed all the milk out of there. Cool. Okay, so what we're going to do is go right on over to here. 
and we want to open up the right side curtain right front yeah um Where's the... Open back door. Where's the key to open it? Um... It's not showing me the key to open it. Isn't the... Isn't that Z? It is. It's just not showing up. Weird. Okay. Okay, so we want to offload... Uh, let's do the cheese first, because that's going to give us the... That's got the higher price that is going down last time we looked at it. So let's check it again. Yeah, so Red Marble is offering $19.91. Uh, for that, but it's going down. So we need to get the cheese over to them first. Okay, so we'll open this up and we want to go to cheese. We have 8,000 liters of cheese and we want to change the output mode of that to storing. And there it is. Look at all that delicious cheese in there. Okay, let's load it up. Um... That's control R, I think, right? No, shift R. Yeah, not all my keys are showing up. It's probably because I got them other mods. Okay. That's 8,000 liters of cheese. That's all we have, huh? After all that time? <laughs> really? Uh, yeah, it looks like that's it. Um, well, does the red marble take butter? Because if it isn't, we can load the butter up, too. Uh, if they don't, no, red marble does not take butter, so we might as well load it, too. Let's get it all right now. If we can get it all on there, that is. Okay, so we'll go to uh, butter, which is going to be right here. And change output mode to storing. And we got quite a bit more of that. Load her up. Okay, there we go. Close the curtain. And let's head on up to um, Red Marble first. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on, there's more. There we go. We'll go this way. Yeah, I'm excited to see how much money we're going to make off of this. After all the money we've put in and time we put into the, the cows, I hope we got a fairly decent payout here. But remember, we're also we also got the manure and the slurry, which we could sell. I'm kind of thinking I want to just store the slurry up until you know we have a bunch of it and then we can either start using it I just don't have anything to spread it with we'd have to at least something um, or you know just sell a big whole bunch of it and make some money off of it so you know we're getting those two products from the cows too in addition to the butter and cheese not much point in selling the milk straight up because I'd rather just turn that into butter and cheese Let's, before we take off, um, there is quite a bit of milk into the, oh, <laughs> pay attention, OG, uh, in the dairy, but again, I think we should just leave that there. Let's, um, yeah, I know I'm in the middle of the road, but deal with it. Um, not you guys, I'm talking about the cars that are, will get mad at me because I'm in the middle of the road. Uh, what am I looking for? Oh, I'm, I'm going back here. So milk, just out of curiosity, what does milk sell for? 
Um, this is the best time to sell it if we were going to sell it. Hmm. 753. So we could get 765 from Mama Joe's farmer's market. Hmm. Well, let's think about that. Kind of depends on how much money we're going to get from this butter and cheese. Because remember, we've been making this since January. So. I need a different gear there. Yeah, let's just see what happens. You better stop, car. You stupid car. Okay, so we are selling the cheese, which is in the front of the vehicle. And there it goes. All right, let's see how much money we make. That's it? Seriously? <laughs> we made $15,000 off of that, all of that cheese that we've been making since January? What? Okay. What am I missing here, guys? If you consider the investment that we made in the cows, that's not very good money at all. I mean, <laughs> all right, well, let's go sell the butter. Maybe we will s sell the milk too. Because if that's all we're gonna make off of the, the cheese, I mean, the cheese of the butter is better than the milk, but crap, that was terrible. All right, well, let's see what we make for the butter. Now, the other thing to keep in mind, though, too, is that with at least the butter in particular, I think. Well, I'll have to I'll have to look at what other productions, because you know those those could end up just being intermediate intermediate products, anyways. Um, and I think there's. Uh, there's probably stuff like on the on mod hub if not in the base game that we could just forward that on to to make it an even better product I'll have to look we'll see all right we're taking this butter to mama Joe's diner I believe we'll we'll double check it before we actually do it yeah that's a little disappointing man A little bit disappointing. Maybe we just need the larger cow barn or something. Oh, you know what, though? Can I even pull the milk out of the dairy? Is that even possible? Didn't think about that. I, we should be able to. Now, one of you guys told me in the comments that at Mama Joe's, you can actually move these tables and chairs. And you can pull in, actually pull in over the load area. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Sorry, Mama Joe. And then, of course, this Yahoo decides to walk right in our way. All right, now we want to turn the this to the left side, so. Here we go. Okay. Oh, we were going to double check too. So butter. Uh, let's see here. Butter. 987, 992 fast food restaurant. Yep. Mama Joe's is the place to sell butter. Okay. Let's see how much we make off of this. Kind of tight seeing it in there but at least it's selling yeah I can't remember off the top of my head who left that comment but thanks man that that was great all right why didn't you take the rest of that there we go okay well we made more money off the butter than we did off the cheese but we had a lot more of it too 
Yeah, that's a nice little trick, moving those tables and chairs, and you can pull right on in there. I love it. So, okay. Yeah, I got I got to be honest with you. I'm a little disappointed with those sales. Um, hmm. Okay. Well, why don't we see if I can get the the milk out of back out of the dairy and just sell that too? Because if that's all we're gonna get for the butter and the cheese, I mean, I don't really kind of don't really care. I mean, we'll still do it, but we might as well sell the milk now, too, since this is the best time of year to sell the milk. So let's leave that there. We'll jump back in our pickup truck and see if I can pull that milk back out of there. I sure hope I can. You'd, you'd think you'd be able to, but never really tried that before. I mean, I, I'd almost say that having the cows for the manure and the slurries is what really makes them more worthwhile. Of course, the cows themselves, you know, when they get old enough, or too old, I should say, we'll be able to sell them and make a little money off of them too. But, you know, they're not they're not beef cows, so we're not going to really make a, a whole lot of money doing that either. Yeah, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get the milk out of here or not. If I, this is where the pallets would normally spawn if I wasn't putting them in the distribution warehouse. Yeah, see, it's not giving me an option there at all to pull the milk out. So let's go back to the loading area and see if it works both ways. I want to say it probably doesn't, but let's just see what happens here. Nope. It doesn't look like we can pull the milk back out. Wow, crap. That sucks, man. <laughs> we could have sold that milk and at least made a little more money. Um, there's just no way for me to get that out of there again, huh? Well, hold on. It's It, it would be the R key that I would use. And my menu's not showing everything, so... Let's just press the R key over here and see what happens. Nothing. <laughs> Crap. Okay. Yeah, this is a this is a one way. This is an in only, no out for the milk. Okay. Well, I mean, it'll turn into butter and cheese, and we'll sell it again at another point in time. But again, a uh, little bit disappointed about that. That wasn't a ton of money. It really was not. And now I also know that what we might end up doing is next year in, say, maybe starting in July or at definitely in August, is we might actually save the milk so we can just sell it directly um, just to make a little bit, little bit more money. Is there any milk in there now? No. Yeah, because we just pulled it out and put it in the dairy. Ah, okay. Well, cows are obviously worth having in this game because otherwise nobody would it, would do it. And again, we have to we have to look at the manure and the slurry that they've been providing too. I mean, actually, yeah, you think about it. All of the manure in those greenhouses is from our cows, and that would have costed me I don't know how much money you know, to, to buy the granular fertilizer to put in there, which is what we would have otherwise had to do. And, you know, we will always have the option in the near future of using the manure and the slurry on the on fields for fertilizer, too. So it's not just the milk and butter and cheese that makes them profitable. That doesn't change the fact, though, that I'm still disappointed <laughs> with the amount of money we made off of that. That is just not so good not so good at all but what can you do okay um now what I want to do is before I let you guys go is 
let's let's go ahead and conduct that little test that I wanted to do with the small bales. Okay, so I want to let's put the curtain cider away first. Okay, so all I want to do here is find out if how many of the small bales we can get on this trailer. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into here and we're going to go round bales and we want 125 centimeter silage bales not that that really matters a whole lot wrapped and let's start spawning a bunch and now I, I will delete these when we're finished um because we're cheating them in for for science purposes here okay Ooh, this this actually looks promising. Um, okay, here, hold on. Let's move these out away. I've noticed that if the bales are like right up next to it, sometimes it doesn't pick them up. Those might be a little far out. Yeah. Okay. So let's, um, oops. Okay. It's raining bales. Okay, so that appears to be everything. Huh, I wonder why it doesn't tell me in the lower right hand corner what we got. But we can we can just count these, okay? So basically we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have forty bales on here, you guys. Wow, okay. That means, I think, that this might actually be viable. All right, here's what's going to happen. In, in um, possibly actually next month, because we'll be able to do the, the computer farmers. Whoops. Um... You know the computer farmers hey i might go ahead and lease that that fast baler and we might try this method because 40 bales that's a lot of bales that's way more than i thought we'd be able to get on there using this method you know picking them up out of the field will be a little bit faster than this but this only holds 24 whereas this holds 40. It is going to cost us a little bit more money because, like I said, I'm going to pay imaginary workers to help us load these, but still. Very interesting. Okay. Well, we'll give it a try and see if, you know, see if it's, if it works because, you know, then I just, basically what happens is I get in the, in the big M and I mow and then I have a worker follow behind me in the tractor with the, with the baler and they basically just follow exactly where I go and... And then they start bailing. 
Okay, we'll try it. We'll see. We'll see. I don't know. Maybe it might work really well, or it might work absolutely atrociously. <laughs> Not sure. Uh, but anyway, we need to uh, delete all of these bales. Um, let's offload these, and we'll get the truck out of the way. Turn that off. Okay, let's just delete all of this stuff here because it was just a test. I think there's actually a way to delete all of them at once, but I'll just do it this way. Not a big deal. All right, you guys. Well, I think that's it for this episode. So yeah, uh, I am disappointed. I'll uh, I'll be honest with you. I'm disappointed with the butter and cheese sales. That kind of sucked. I'm not going to lie, it just did. But, that again, that doesn't mean that it isn't worth having the cows for the other reasons, um, you know, that I've already stated. And it's fun, too. I enjoy having the cows. Uh, but this this whole deal with, you know, the smaller bales and being able to get 40 on here might actually change. We might change things up and no longer make the 150s, you know, you know with this. And take advantage of the follow me. It, it, the other thing, though, too, is it's just going to depend upon how well, um, how well they can do it. Now, there there is another option if follow me doesn't work, and that's called course play. But I I need to learn how to use that because it's not something you just install and start using. Uh, you know, th there's a bit of a learning curve to it. But basically what course play does is, is you pre-map out a course for the workers and then they just follow it. And in that case, they don't have to follow you around. They'll just go do it. So that's another potential option too. Uh, now that I know that I can get 40 of those little bales on here. Okay, well, anyways, I'm going to let you guys go here. I'll put this stuff back away so we can keep our farm nice and tidy. And I will bring you back in October. Uh, if I decide to to try the the follow me thing on uh, the computer farmers fields, um, we'll do that in October. But it, you know, it's really going to be more useful to test that on our own fields. Um, so I might wait and do that in November when we do our fourth hay cutting, and then you know. Uh, show it to you guys at that point so anyway we'll figure it out but guys thanks for watching hope you enjoyed the episode if you did please hit that oh i didn't show you money sorry we gotta look at money real quick uh for september okay so we didn't buy anything in september we spent uh eighty six hundred dollars on vehicle running costs remember i did several fertilizing and cultivating contracts early on and then my hay so that's where a lot of that repair came from property maintenance is 554 mysterious cash there uh, we made $35,784 on our butter and cheese. And again, that's for, from January to September. I mean, <laughs> that just sucks. We get $25,000 for just one load of silage. Oh, man, that's terrible. But it is what it is. You know, what can you do, right? Next time, like I said, I'm going to also sell the milk in September, too. Um, so at least we'll make a little bit more than just that. But yeah, that's terrible. It just sucks, but it is what it is. Uh, water costs for the cow barn. Uh, we made, we grossed 39643 on contracts. Uh, again, fertilizer cultivating contracts. Um, oh, we got to pay our worker. And th this is just for the field workers. The miscellaneous is from the train station. Um, let's go back into here and take that money out to pay our worker for moving the pallets and yep that squares us up okay now we are ready to wrap it up guys thanks for watching hope you enjoyed the episode and if you did please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel leave a comment share the video and we'll catch you in the next episode Bye bye